This morning when I sat there for the first time, uh, I asked the Holy Spirit, I want to be very clear uh, hearing from you before I stand here in front again because it's very important to be led by the Holy Spirit. And uh, the Holy Spirit spoke through with, with me through the uh, Word being preached this morning and uh, the last couple of five minutes I'm still fighting and saying I'm not going to talk about it and said, Lord, Holy Spirit, through his word, what Demon said, confirmed everything I'm going to say now. I'm going to testify. I'm going to help you. Because I know these people sitting here have got hurt in their lives. You've been through trauma and you got hurt and you blamed God for it. I'm one of them. My father died when I was still quite young. It's very difficult to talk about it because it was very emotional for me because I loved my father very much. <clears throat> he was a very soft, uh, soft man. And uh, I don't seem to be very soft because I got hurt in my life. I blame God for it. Mm. And I didn't go to church for 10 years. I received a spirit of bitterness in my life towards God. A demon entered my life and he filled what was in, in a way good in me. He filled something else because I left a gap or something, something else to fill my life. And I met a friend of mine. His name is Rodney Seelan, but he doesn't mind me using his name because we love each other a lot because of the Spirit of God. We played rugby together and um, he introduced me to Jesus Christ, which I left. I got reborn 10 years later, got baptized, I didn't feel the water, it was a miracle, that day it was a cold day, when I entered the water, I didn't feel the cold, and I believe God was showing me how much He loved me. <coughs> the end of the year, Ron Kushmal, you won't mind his name, came to our church in, in Whitbank, and he asked people to receive the Holy Spirit to come to the front, and I couldn't receive. Because there was something else in my life that filled me with... It was not good. It was a demon of bitterness. And normally when you receive a demon in your life, it attacks your nervous system, which Jesus died for. Because if he controls your nervous system, he controls you. Okay. And I couldn't receive the Holy Spirit. And I, but I wanted to, but I couldn't. Because something else was in my life. And the 1st of January, Rodney C and his wife came to our house and they prayed for me. And that demon left me. It was the first opportunity that the Holy Spirit had that He could fill my life. And I was a changed man. And I spoke in tongues. I think I spoke so loud, I, I didn't care. Like the disciples when they received the Holy Spirit. They didn't care. So if you are here, like your mom said, it's a confirmation. It's the Spirit speaking. If you are here and you have difficulty receiving the Holy Spirit, this opportunity for you now to get rid of that rubbish in your life and be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's an awesome thing that can happen in your life to have that power and the guidance of the Holy Spirit in your life to teach you to be more like Him.